this is the application video for Pictolite using our smart light indicators. What I'd like to do is show you some uh, uh, these applications of how they work. First what we'll do is we'll look at a traditional kitting station. So this would be like a supermarket, something like that in, uh, in a manufacturing environment. Here in this case we have our, uh, our traditional smart light tower that's uh, telling operators and forklift drivers about the status of the supermarket. And here we have four different Pictolite indicators down here. Uh, here you see one mounted in the middle that's going to uh, call out two different bins. Uh, these are mounted high up. You see how we have the brackets on the flow racks. This is mounted high up. A um, little more traditional for tighter spaces. Here we have it moved down. You can see it's mounted down just to give you a little bit more um, uh, uh, bearing of the, of the uh, indicator so it doesn't get damaged. And this is the same as that one over there. Now everything here is run by our network block. Uh, this is a uh, master port for IO-Link, of course. And you see we're only using four ports here. Interesting part is the splitter. These indicators are able to run in expansion mode. So what happens is this indicator is the first one. Uh, he uh, receives the IO-Link signal, and then he regenerates it on pin two, and it travels back to the other one. So they act in unison, so they're like one light. And in this demo, we also have an IO-Link RFID reader, and we'll show you how all this works together to give you a nice kitting station for your, for your application. So, so let's show how this works. First off, uh, you would have a tote of some, of some type, uh, bar, uh, barcode or RFID. Here we're using RFID. So what happens, uh, RFID uh, will read this as this comes into station. See as it's in the station, now you see it's telling us that we have to pick this particular product. Now in this video it might be hard to see, but uh, it is blue and it is blinking this direction. So what it's doing is telling me to pick one of these. So I'll pick this, it'll sense my hand, I'll put it in there, and now it's asking me to pick one down below. So again, that's blue, it's pointing up. So I'm going to go grab one of these, and uh, we'll keep going. Again, it's a red, it's pointing up, I need to grab one of these. And now it's at the top and it's asking me to pick one of these, and now it's asking me to pick this as well. And so now we have our pick sequence completed, our kit is ready, and that's how we do kitting with the smart light indicators. In this application, this is more for assembly. So in this case, we have a build pallet coming into station. Uh, here we're building a motor. RFID would, uh, would be red, similar to what you saw in the other demo. And here you have much smaller bins uh, to pick some of the smaller pieces and assemble this, uh, in this case, this particular motor. Now in this case, you can see we have one light for each bin. Again, what's nice about this, if we tip it over, you can see we're using the expandable mode here. So one port runs two different indicators.